Hi guys, uh, welcome to the second video on how to use Cache Tally Master. In this video, I will show you how to use the Cache Ball menu and how to make uh, the necessary changes when you are going to add few more soil node to yesterday's figure. Okay, let us open the Excel sheet. Provide the password as welcome one and W should be caps. We need to enter the same password again. Uh, so you can see here in yesterday's figure the amount of soil note is 86,790. This figure will be entered by us on the beginning of the day and we would go on to take cash, make payments, everything should be entered on these sheets, make changes and the final today's figure would be reflected in this sheet. Uh, if you are not going to make any changes, like you don't, you did not get any soil note today or you don't prefer to add the soil note today to what you have got today to yesterday's figure, you can simply copy this figure in your cash book and in the next sheet cash bell this would be zero uh, so what figure appears here you can copy it straight away in cash bell menu uh, as you can see here 491 491 means it is the total number of 2000 issuable 2000 notes and the non issuable 2000 notes is zero join custody issuable is zero and join custody non issuable is zero so in cash bell menu the things which you need to enter is only these things 491 0 0 0 similarly you can see here there are few non issuable notes in the denomination of hundreds fifties twenties tens uh, okay, let me say how this figure came up here. Uh, in this cash bell sheet, the only enterable columns are the column A and column B. In column A, you need to enter what was the denomination of soil note what you had yesterday. You can, as said earlier, the denomination of soil note what you had yesterday was 86,790. The denomination of this 86,790 should be entered by you in yesterday's soil note figure. After entering the figure, you can check your total here, which will show you as 86,790. And let's suppose today you have got few more soil note and you want to include it to the, to the already existing soil note figure. In that case, you can't copy down the figure what appears in this sheet because it soil note figure would vary and also the number of notes that are issuable will also vary. So in that case what you need to do is uh, come to cash bell supposing you are having 12 non issuable notes in 100 in today's cash and 7 non issuable 50s in today's cash and so on you need to enter that figure in this column B as you can see here corresponding to 100 denomination I have entered 12 which means what cash I got today in today's cash there is a non issuable or soil notes of 12 hundreds similarly 750s 1420s 13 and tens Basically what this sheet will do is, it will total up yesterday's non-issuable notes, today's non-issuable notes and it will reduce from the total number of available notes and it will give you the what are the issuable notes and the total non-issuable notes. Okay. I can show you how the calculation goes here. As you can see here, already you had 469 soil notes. Along with that, Today we have got 12 more soil notes. 
so total soil nodes will be 481 and that is shown here and when you check this today's figure total number of nodes is 399 but in the 399 12 nodes has been removed so the actual issuable figure would become 387 that 12 node would be totaled up automatically in this soil node figure so let me show that to you so the issuable number of nodes in hundreds denomination should be 387 and not 399 you can check it here cashier issuable hundreds is 387 on entering this value you could see automatically the total of soil node figure varies so you need to do the same for uh, remaining denomination and finally you can cross verify here by totaling uh, what is the cashier cash issuable notes joint custody issuable notes and number of coins and total soil note at any point totaling all these four figure should tally with today's cash figure so let me show that to you cashier issuable is 13 lakhs 60,680 plus joint custody issuable is 0 plus total number of amount of coins is 9 plus total soil note is 89,010 so the final figure is 14 lakhs 49,699 you can see here 14 lakhs 49,699 so the total amount will not vary but the denomination of issuable and soil notes will vary between this sheet and cash balance sheet on entering these changes you could find find it difficult uh, to copy this figure in notes as you can uh, uh, see here the data is uh, scattered over here and there while writing book you need uh, the figure in this way and for that I made a separate additional sheet here so what this sheet basically does is this sheet will total up cashier issuable joint custody issuable uh, which are the only issuable notes and that figure will appear here and it will pick the soil note automatically from this sheet value and it will put it over here so naturally you can see this total figure also will remain same as this total figure and also this tot total figure 49,000 sorry uh, 14 lakhs 49,699 will never change anywhere but you can see here the difference between the cash figure before adding today's soil note and this is after adding soil notes in hundreds you are having 399 here in hundreds you are having 387 the 12 nodes which which we have added in soil would go over here you can see here the soil node total also changes 89,010 which was previously 86,790 and once you are done with this you can open the cash bell menu and enter these values on Finacle. Just for example, I will show you one more thing. Supposing you have drawn cash from currency chest and they have given you a bundle of 100, two bundles of 50s. You can see how this data affects the sheets here. In today's figure, 1000 are added and 2050s are added so bundle figure becomes 1 lakh 1 lakh so total joint reserve will become 2 lakh in cash bell also you can see here joint custody issuable notes is 1 lakh 1 lakh and total is 2 lakhs and here also 
the total number of nodes would be thousand and odd, two thousand and odd, and it will be it will be treated as a bundle, and it would become it will be coming under a joint reserve. Uh, this is just to show you since uh, in joint custody issuable column the value was previously shown as zero i just wanted to make sure that column 2 works okay thank you guys for watching the video if you have any doubt uh, please comment below the video or you can uh, WhatsApp me over the number available here. Thank you guys.